there's all kinds of data out there that is potentially useful to us and potentially can help us understand uh, what's going on with our management, etc. The problem is many of these data repositories are being spit out by um, an agency or a group that uh, doesn't really have subsequent data utilization, doesn't have your subsequent data utilization in mind. So they've organized it, they've maybe collected this data, um, but they're putting it out in a way that they think is maximally viewable to people, uh, people that aren't necessarily trying to re-manipulate or or interrogate the data. Consequently, they're putting out this data in PDF format, in stagnant format. So here's an example. Here are, uh, is the most recent version of the top 20 largest wildfires in California. This is from Cal Fire. Very common thing we'll see. This is, this is a, a static PDF. Now you might look at this and say, oh, look, here's a column, here's some information. I can just go ahead and, for example, select these, um, these columns or these items, hit copy, jump over to a spreadsheet and hit paste. And it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. And other times, other PDFs will be even worse than this and will all fill in on essentially one line or in one cell. So to deal with this, to what we call scrape the data from a document, there's various tools. One of the easiest ones is this one here. So uh, Tabula is designed to make this easier for you. This is open access. Uh, um, this is an, an open access tool that works across platforms. So the first step is you can just come up, download whichever version um, of the program that you'd want to use, uh, Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. cetera. Uh, download it and install it. And then uh, when you have the program and go to open it, it's going to open um, a browser window. So here we go. So this is, I've downloaded this, and in this case I'm on a Mac, and there's some readmes, et cetera, the folks that made it, et cetera, but all I need to do is, is click this guy, and you'll see it immediately uh, takes us to a um, website uh, in our browser, in, in whatever our default browser is. Now I can, uh, here's, here's my dialog window, I can hit, uh, or actually first we'll hit browse, go to the document that um, you know we've saved, this PDF that we want to scrape, say choose for upload, it'll upload it, and then say import. It's going to think for a second, and then uh, we're going to ask it to auto detect tables, and the, re the resulting red square are, is the component of the PDF it's going to attempt to put into a spreadsheet. Now in this case, this stuff down here, don't need that. And uh, everything else looks good. So we have our call, we have our, our titles of our columns here. We have the rest of it in, in these cells. Okay, now I'm gonna say preview and export, extract data. So here we go, great. And now I wanna say, I wanna export it as a CSV. We could pick these different format types, but pretty much for the stuff we're dealing with, CSV or comma separated variable format is the right one. And then hit export. Now we can go to our browser or to our um, uh, tabular data manipulation tool of choice. That could be Excel. That could be Google Sheets. We go to open it as a CSV, and boom, it's all now nice and neatly in there. We can expand this and see that there's uh, various uh, names in here, the dates, etc. Now notice this is just going to grab the data as the data are. So for example. This isn't the, tw if I click on this, this is, this is uh, 8-1-2020. This one says 8-1-2020. This one says July 1, 2007. Um, all that the data read as was July of 2007. Uh, so uh, the default, in this case, Excel um, new, uh, date calculation has added the first month of, or the, excuse me, the first day of that month into the dates which may or may not be right, but it's probably enough for um, uh, helping us get this organized. And there you go. So an easy way to scrape data off of any PDF that is in tabular form.